I would ask that you stand, Mr. Rader. It will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve a term of life for the murder, premeditated murder, of Joseph Otero. In regards to count two, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve the term of life for the premeditated murder of Julie Otero. In regards to count three, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve a term of life for the premeditated murder of Josephine Otero. In regards to count four, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve a term of life for the premeditated murder of Joseph Otero, Jr. In regards to count five, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve the term of life for the death, premeditated murder of Catherine Bright. In regards to count six, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve the term of life for the premeditated murder of Shirley Vianne. In regards to count seven, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve the term of life for the premeditated murder of Nancy Fox. In regards to count eight, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve the term of life for the premeditated murder of Maureen Hedge. In regards to count nine, it will be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve the term of life for the premeditated murder of Vicki Wagerly. In regards to count 10, the state has properly filed with the court a request to impose the sentence pursuant to uh, the hard 40 statute as it is commonly required, referred to, excuse me, that was done on the uh, 27th of, excuse me, that was done actually on or about the third day of May 2005. There were two allegations of aggravating circumstances. Those being that the defendant committed the crime in order to avoid or prevent a lawful arrest of the prosecution, I find that the evidence in this case, and also pursuant to State v. Higginbottom, 264 Kansas 593, State v. Marsh, State v. Bailey, which is a case I prosecuted, and State v. Walker, also a case I prosecuted, that that factor does in fact exist. There's an additional factor that was the factor of this being especially heinous, cruel, heinous, atrocious, or cruel manner that the homicides were committed in. Based upon the evidence which I did hear from the deputy, uh, Captain Sam Houston, in regards to the fact that the uh, victim, Dolores Davis, in your opinion, knew what was going to happen to her, knew her that you were going to kill her, and you took two to three minutes to suffocate her, that that is a homicide committed in an especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel manner. It will therefore be the judgment, order, and sentence of the court that you, Dennis L. Rader, be taken by the sheriff of Sedgwick County, Kansas, and by him delivered to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections to serve a term of life for which you will not be parole eligible until the expiration of 40 years. I will assess. Yes. The findings that you've made regarding the aggravating factors, I believe the law says that you must make a finding that those have been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. I am going to do that. Okay. And that they're not outweighed by mitigation. I'm going to do that as well. I will pronounce that sentence as I indicated. You will not be parole eligible for 40 years. 
I have found that those aggravating factors existed, and I will find that those aggravating factors, beyond a reasonable doubt, outweigh any mitigating factors and circumstances which exist. I have heard some statements in regards to mitigating factors, but no evidence has been produced. The statements I've heard in regards to mitigating factors are that you had cooperated with law enforcement and had not, in fact, taken the case through trial. I do not find that those outweigh the aggravating factors existing herein. I will assess the cost to the defendant. I will give the parties approximately 30 days to make determinations in regards to restitution and miscellaneous court costs. Also, I will give the parties 30 days to argue relative to the recommendations of conditions of incarceration. All the court can do under the statutes in existence at the time is to make recommendations. It is entirely up to the Secretary of Corrections what they will or will not do. I would suggest that we obtain a date for hearing these particular matters. Please obtain that date from my aid. Is there anything further to put on the record at this time? Your Honor, only as to the evidence that was dropped. Well, the evidence at this juncture will be held and kept by the court. None of that evidence is of intrinsic value as far as jewelry or money, nor is it of any danger such as a firearm. So I will, in fact, instruct the reporter to take the items of physical evidence into her custody. Okay. Anything further? Not by the State. Not from the defense, Your Honor. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.